All right, today we're doing celery root and potato puree, and I promise it tastes way better than it sounds. Uh, it doesn't look good, though. That is one ugly vegetable. That is the uh, root of the celery. It is ugly, it is nasty looking, but it has a really unique flavor, and you are going to like it if you try it. So here we go. We're going to cut off the bottom and the top. All right, it's very uh, tough. It's almost like uh, trimming up a turnip, so be careful. Don't cut yourself. Cut off the top and bottom. All right, and we're going to go around it just like you're peeling a pineapple or a butternut squash. If you saw that demo, just go around with your knife and take off that uh, really thick skin. All right, now don't lose too much of the, the flesh here. Uh, it is like kind of a, a, a spotted brown color just beneath the skin. You don't have to worry too much about that. So that's my trimmed up celery root. I'm going to cut it in half. And each half I'm going to cut into six pieces. So cut it in half half again, and then in thirds. All right, now this will oxidize, meaning it will start to turn brown from the uh, from being in the air. So what you want to do is have your, uh, your little pot of water ready, so it's cold water. Throw it in there. I'm going to cut up this other one. And everyone's looking for alternatives now to the old uh, mashed potato, and we're using cauliflower and things like that. This is a really nice option. Now, if you wanted to, you could cook that just like that and mash it and use the rest of the recipe I'm going to show you. But I really think half potato, half celery root is a great compromise. Right? I like the texture of the potato adds, a little more starchiness, a little more, um, I don't know, just a little richer. So I'm going to go half potato, half celery root. So that was two russets that I quartered. So that's just about 50-50, celery root to potato. And again, obviously not an exact science. All right, it's about a tablespoon and a half of salt. I like to salt when I boil my starches versus salting at the end. So after 20 minutes, my celery root and potato, because they were about the same size, they cook about the same time. So 20, 25 minutes, they were tender. I drained it very well. You don't want any extra water in here. And just like the mashed potato demo, I want you to give that a mash with your masher without any other ingredients, okay? So give that five or six or seven mashes first then we'll start to add the delicious ingredients. All right, so we got that broken up. Now, if you're going to make me eat celery root, here's the deal. I need some butter. All right, so we're going to put a half a stick of butter in. We're also going to add a little bit of nutmeg, just a, just a couple. If you're using the fresh nut like I hope you are, just a three or four shavings on there. If you're using uh, from the jar, that's maybe sixteenth of a teaspoon, just a touch. People won't even know it's there. In fact, we're going to add a little more to the top. That's some white pepper, about a half of a teaspoon. And I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. And again, this is just from experience. If you want to salt and adjust at the end, uh, I know that's going to be good, so I threw it in at this point. Now with the butter and the spices in there, we're going to mix that in. All right, and we're going to just make sure it's all mashed. Now don't be afraid to leave a few chunks. All right, celery root doesn't have to be a really, really smooth puree. Better underworked than overworked, like most things in cooking. So I'm going to smash that till it's fairly smooth. But again, a few little chunks of uh, celery root here and there are not going to scare me. Now, here's an ingredient that is going to be totally optional. All right, I'm going to switch to a spatula, and I'm going to add about an ounce of heavy cream. Now, I said optional. That's optional for you, not for me. For me, I'm putting it in. All right, so I'm going to just gently fold in that cream. And again, I'm using a spatula. I don't like to overwork this stuff. It gets, can, you know, could get pasty. Same deal like with mashed potatoes. You've heard me say that before. And at that point, I was done with this recipe. Now, when I served it, I piled it up in a big old bowl, and I did a very, very fine grating of the nutmeg again. Just a, just a hint. All right, just three or four uh, gratings on the top. And again, this is mostly for aroma, even more than flavor. You're not even really going to taste it that much, but it does give it um, a really beautiful, earthy, nutty kind of uh, uh, aroma to the dish. And what this side dish is perfect with is very rich, decadent meats. I served this with a braised short rib of beef I did with chocolate and cinnamon. hope you saw that demo. Uh, this is great with things like barbecue, uh, grilled meats, things that are really, really heavy and rich. This, because of its uh, earthiness, because of that celery root, uh, just a great, great contrast. So, I hope you give this a try. It is unusual, uh, but it is very delicious, and uh, enjoy.